Some break down and beg for their lives. Some remain stubbornly hardened and brutal to the end. Some make no sense at all. Whichever way they go, there's always someone on hand to record the last words of executed criminals. And these five women set some unforgettable quotes. Sarah Good Sarah Good was convicted of witchcraft in the Salem Witch Trails. When she was found guilty by the judges, including Noyce, she yelled to him, I'm no more a witch than you are a wizard, and if you take away my life, God will give you blood to drink. Twenty-five years later, Noyce died from soaking on his own blood. Aileen Warnus Aileen confessed to killing six men in northern and central Florida between December 1989 and September 1990. Warnus claimed that the men had picked her up while she was working as a prostitute, but that each had tried to sexually assault her. Warnus said that she told the men in self-defense. Her final, creepy last words was, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with a rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day, with Jesus, June 6, like the movie, Big Mothership and all, I'll be back. Amelia Dyer Amelia Dyer earned her living by caring for orphaned infants until a permanent home could be located. It was a common practice in 1890s England. Though Dyer was able to make an unusual lucrative living, then in 1896, local authorities figured out why Dyer had been strangling the infants and discarding their bodies in the famous river. Dyer didn't deny the killings, saying to authorities when they arrested her, you'll know all mine by the tape around their necks. It took the jury just five minutes to find her guilty. At her hanging, her last words offered no hint of remorse for the crimes she'd committed. I have nothing to say. Mary Blandy Mary Blandy was executed in the 18th century England for poisoning her father, Francis Blandy, with a solution laced with arsenic. Mary claimed that she thought the mixture was a love potion that would soften her father to the idea of her relationship with William Henry Cranestone, a married army officer and son of a Scottish nobleman. Mary Blandy wore a dress to her hanging on Easter morning, 1752, so her final words could have been a note to property or to a truly creepy sense of humor. For the sake of decency, gentlemen, don't hang me high. Myra Hindley Myra Hindley was convicted in 1966 for raping and killing five children in partnership with her lover, Ian Brandy. Both were given life sentences for the murders, though Hindley protested her innocence for nearly 20 years. In 1987, Hindley finally issued a full confession for all five killings and was denied any possibility of parole. Though she was known as the most evil woman in Britain, Hindley was not executed by the state. Instead, she died of respiratory failure in prison in 2002. A priest, sent to issue her last rites, reported her final thoughts. The last conversation she had before she died concerned her mother. She just expressed concern for her mother, but I will not say exactly what she said.